On today's video, we're talking about what kills some small businesses and prevents a lot of the others from even getting started. Let's start with a quick story first. So there's a ceramic class, and in this ceramic class, the instructor divides his room into two groups. In the group on the left, he says, you're gonna be graded at the end of the year by the quantity of the work you produce, the quantity. Now the group on the right, he said, you guys, you're gonna be judged and graded on the quality of the work you produce. Now what's interesting about this is as time went on, the students got to work. Now again, the group on the left, the guys over here, they had to do quantity. It didn't matter what the quality looked like, they were going to be judged by how much they could make. And so for an A, he was going to bring in his scales. For an A, they had to make 40 pounds, and for a B, it would be 30 pounds, and so on and so forth. The more they made, the better their grade. And so they all got to work making as much pottery as they could. Now the group on the right, the people over here. Remember, they were judged by the quality, and so they didn't have to make a bunch. In fact, they only had to make one pot. They only had to make one end product, but it had to be flawless. It had to be perfect. And so both groups went to work. Now here's what's interesting. At the end of the semester, it came time for grading, and so the professor brought all of the people together. And the group on the left, the quantity people, again, they brought everything in, they weighed it, and of course, they got an A. They had a ton of pots that they had thrown. Now the group on the right, granted, they only had one Unfortunately, they didn't get an A because their task was perfection, and perfection is almost always impossible. Well, what was also interesting about this was that the group that did the quantity, their quality ended up being better than the group on the right doing just one pot all semester. So what's the lesson in this? Guys, the lesson is this. The quantity group over time because of dedication and consistent activity and just doing, the group on the left that started out for quantity ended up doing better quality by the end of the semester. Now the reason I tell you that story is this. In a recent conversation with somebody really close to me, we were talking about an example of them drawing and they, they're a great artist, fantastic artist. And they loved drawing, but they were getting discouraged because their quality wasn't at the level they thought it should be. And so they were setting goals for this year, and they were asking opinion from me about how do they set up a game that they can win. And so I challenged them, based on the story of the potters and the ceramics class, I challenged them to do this. What if every day you just did one small drawing? You gave yourself 15 minutes. You drew whatever was in front of you, whatever you could see, and you just drew that thing for 15 minutes. It was an exercise to get you through the quantity get you to go through speed and get your mind to let go of having to have perfection. What happens when you do that every day for 365 days? My guess is it's just like the class of the pottery people that you end up a better artist than you were when you started. Not because you set out for perfection or quality, but because you just got started, you got into action and you did it consistently over time. Now, why am I bringing you this story? I'm bringing you this story because this is very real struggle in most small businesses. Guys, if you're a salesperson, if you own a business, you're an entrepreneur, whatever your world looks like, here's the key. The biggest thing, the biggest hurdle you have is just to get started. The biggest hurdle you have is just to get started. It's not making sure you're perfect. It's not having the perfect product. It's not having the perfect presentation. Your biggest challenge is just getting started. So what we know is a couple things, and in coaching lots of people for a number of years, what we know is people are paralyzed by perfection. People are paralyzed by perfection. Now, where does that come from? I think it comes from fear. Now, we've done separate talks about fear, and you guys remember fear is an acronym for false evidence appearing real. Fear is not really real. Most of the time, what we're fearful of in the moment doesn't come to pass in reality. Most of the time, what we're fearful of that prevents us from taking action, that paralyzes us because we're focused on perfection, well, it turns out to just not be reality anyway. Now, this fear of failure is so real for so many of us, guys, and like I've said in previous videos, remember, fear isn't final or fatal until you stop trying. So the whole point today, what I wanted to bring to you is, A, we have to get started. Fear and the fear of not being perfect paralyzes so many people to not even get started, to not take their idea that they have and turn it into a business, to not be the best that they can be in their industry or what they're doing. Fear paralyzes them because they're so afraid of failing and not being perfect, when in reality, every successful person in this world started somewhere and started with something that was not perfect and over time grew it towards that end. Now here's what I want you guys to also think about. A couple notes I wrote down here. First, perfection is exhausting. Progress is invigorating. 
Perfection is exhausting. Think about a time when you felt you had to be perfect for someone, something, some job. Perfection is exhausting. You're drained. You hate what you're doing. At some point, there's no battery life left in you. Yet, while progress is invigorating, progress, you're celebrating wins along the way. Progress gives you energy. Progress says, it's okay that I'm not perfect today. I know that tomorrow I'm going to be better than I was today. And when I stick on this track a year from now, I'm going to be miles ahead of where I started. So guys, I hope that helps you. Make sure that you're not letting perfection or the false idea that we all have to strive for it stop you from being great, stop you from accomplishing what it is you set out to accomplish, and stop you from big, big things that all of you are capable of achieving. If you like videos like this, guys, we bring them out every week. Make sure to click on the subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube. Hit the bell icon so you're notified in real time when new videos come out. Also, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. We're really active over there. Guys, we're looking forward to continuing this conversation with you every week this year. Thanks for sticking around. Share this video if it helped you with somebody else in your world, and we'll see you next week. And how the top... No, oh, that sucks.